Tuesday is so Tuesday is so Tuesday is so cool not like that was not a ripoff of a certain British youtuber hey guys I'm sorry that I always wait till the last minute to do my video but I never feel like doing a video on Monday and I get home from work on Tuesday at 6 so you get your Tuesday serving of a group of friends late Jared um Ikea uh, my heart just broke a little inside because you haven't been to Ikea. They even have a food court with Swedish freaking meatballs. If you have not been to Ikea by the time we meet in person, when we meet in person, we're going straight from wherever we are when we meet in person to the closest Ikea. I don't care how far it is away. That's how important Ikea is. And yeah, when I was featured, I got maybe 200 subs total. Um, so I didn't experience the whole influx like everybody else did, um, probably because I was like at the bottom of the page. Also, I have never been frisbee golfing. I don't know. But I really want to learn how to play regular golf. Yes, regular golf. I hope that doesn't make me an old man for wanting to play regular golf, because both my grandparents play regular golf. Some old people love golf so much they just like become addicted. Some people are addicted to meth. Some people are addicted to golf. Keith, it is totally sweet to make video responses. In fact, I think video responses should be encouraged. I think I'm the first one who's made a video response to anybody here. Um, I made one to Kristen's video because it was, I think, the best group of friends video that's been made so far. Because um, it was just so funny and I was like laughing out loud, literally, because Kristen is funny. Yeah, so make video responses, everybody. Wayne, I never told you that I completely agree with your assessment of Kristen's shirt. I'm sorry, Kristen, I was just giving you props for being so funny, but some of those props are being demoted because of your horrible, horrible baby-killing shirt. Tie-dye is something to be feared, Kristen. Fear it. But I'm not obsessed with Lord of the Rings. I just think they're great. Um, I mean, they're great films, and it's an epic story, so I think they're sweet. Um, I'm not obsessed with it by any means. And yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I realized that after I put up the video that you guys probably were having a lot of fun before I got there, and I just kind of spaced and was doing other stuff. Um, wonderful Kristen actually IM'd me and said, like, get on Stickham, what are you doing? Because it was like, I was over an hour late. But I promise next time we set up a, uh, a stickham play date, I will be punctual. Michael, I hope you're having an amazing time in Mexico. It's funny because I'm the only person who lives in the southern United States. And um, in Arizona, everybody goes to Mexico for spring break, like every year. And I did it twice. And I mean, honestly, it's fun, but it gets old after you go a couple times. I mean, they were filming Girls Gone Wild at my hotel. And... There was so much booze everywhere that like people were like vomiting in their cups and still drinking them. I mean, that's how drunk people were. I made the mistake to wear shoes to Mexico. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean, made the mistake to wear sandals to Mexico, and every night my feet ended up sticky. It was disgusting. But I mean, that's what happens in Mexico. So anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful time, and I hope you will remember some things about your trip to talk about in your next video. Oh, and Kristen, what are you doing with your dad? Um, I never asked you, and I was wondering, because you said you are going to work with your dad. And in terms of my family situation, um, my parents are divorced, and they divorced when I was about six, so I kind of grew up with my mom. My mom and I started having issues when I was probably in 11th grade, um, the year before I graduated high school, which was probably about 16. Um, we just started getting in like arguments and fights about stupid little things. We're good now after I moved out. I mean, things have gotten like a lot better. And I have an 18-year-old sister, and it's actually really cool because throughout our childhood we never got along, but in the past year we've started um, becoming pretty good friends. So I'm really thankful for that, actually. Shauna, you glutton, you. It's totally okay because I am a cereal glutton. I even made a video about cereal on my response channel. And your sunglasses actually look like Brad Pitt's from Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They're pretty cool. And I was going to go wear my sunglasses, but they're in the car. This has been a really good week for me. Um, Sunday and Monday, I basically like sat around the house in my underwear, which is super lame. But I was a bit hungover on Sunday, and then I wanted to go to the beach, but nobody wanted to go with me. So I didn't go. And then I was going to go to the beach on Monday, 
but I again didn't want to go because I'm a loser. I mean, not that I have like a problem going out alone because that's totally fine, but like when I'm when I'm out, I mean, like I would prefer to have a friend with me just to talk to and stuff. Oh, um, I got the last disc of part two of season six of The Sopranos from Netflix in the mail today. So after tonight, I will be done with Sopranos, and I'm really sad because it's such a good show and I've been watching for like a month. Do any of you guys watch Sopranos? That's a good question. Another question I have for you guys is, do any of you fool around with like the online dating sites? Um, a couple years ago, I, I would have said like, that's super lame, but like everybody I know <laughs> um, like has a profile or does the online dating stuff, and like I don't know anybody in LA, so I thought, hmm, I might as well make a profile, so... I did on a couple different sites, and it's kind of funny, like, it's almost as if it's, like, real life. The people you want to talk to usually don't message you back, and then the people you have no interest in talking to fill your inbox. So I'm, I'm doing that right now for kicks and giggles. I'm not really expecting to meet anybody, like, amazing. If I did, that'd be sweet, but it would be kind of lame, too, because I'm leaving L.A. in two months. I'm only here for the summer, so... Yeah, so tell me if you guys have used online dating sites, and if not, um, give a short story about your, the last date you had, because I want to know, and none of us have really talked about our significant others, or if we have one, or if we don't have one. Bye guys!